everyone! In this video I'm going to show you really quick how to import an object from another Blender file. For example, in another video series I showed you how to create a Viking shield. I will add a link to it in the description of this video if you haven't seen it yet. I want to add that shield now to our house and that way save some time instead of remodeling it. Doing this is really simple. First, open up the blend file that contains the shield. If the shield consists of multiple objects, select them all with Shift and then join them together with Ctrl J. Now with one object, make sure you select it and then press Ctrl and C to copy it. With that, we copy the mesh and all its textures. So now we can go back to the original scene and press Ctrl V to paste it. Now with the shield selected, we can go into edit mode and then position it at the front of the house. So in edit mode, I first press A to select the whole shield and then G and Y to move it in front. And in front, I then first rotated it on the X axis. So R and then X and then 90 degrees. So we have it kind of um, facing with the wall and then scaling it down with S and then in front view positioning right. So just with G just um, doesn't have to be super precise. And then inside view also getting closer to the house. I also rotated it a little bit. So it's kind of not completely straight on there. Um, and then just looked up. So there's one part at the back of the shield that we won't see at all at our house. So the handle that makes sense for if you just have the shield itself. But if we use it at the house, we can just remove it. So with L, you can select just the handle itself and then press X to remove those faces and same for those two little metal dots. And then we can um, select it all again with A and then um, G and Y to move it back to the house. And if you position it, make sure to look at it from different points and angles just to make sure it looks from all sides um, good and as if it is attached to the house. So one last thing I want to point out is if you switch into the shading tab, you can see that we got all the textures from the shield. So all the materials, colors, everything, um, which is really nice because that means we do not have to do it all over again. We do not have to paint it. Um, and that saves like a lot of work. So here I'm just kind of rotating it because I see with the colors, like I want to have it in a different point. So just R and then um, Y. And that's already it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if so, feel free to leave a thumbs up. And uh, next video is going to be about UV unwrapping. So see you there.